Now, some of your brains are gonna struggle with this. Some of you, it's gonna be easy to do and you'll just be able to think in your head, okay, if I do this journal entry, it's gonna do this to that and that to this, right? Others, you're used to living in the details. You haven't spent much time in financial statements or you're new to the industry altogether. Big picture means you can look at the financial statements and they make sense. You know, you know the bigger plan for the company. Did we plan on having five-year growth over the next few years, right? Or are we gonna try to stay the same size? All these things impact the financials because if you wanna grow, you're probably gonna spend more money on marketing and advertising. And so we need to know these things in an ideal world. So as a reminder, we want consistent information means you do it the same way that it was done in the past unless you are purposely making changes and that means that all the players are involved in knowing you're making changes you're not doing it by yourself in a silo you and the business owner are making changes because you want the financials to be better and work better for the owner or you find that there's things that aren't following gap rules or irs rules and changes need to be made for that reason but in general we want to create structures and systems that last for years and years and years without needing much change want to keep things current and up to date that means however often you enter the data, making sure it's up to date, keeping the owner apprised of how up to date the financials are so we don't end up with issues and the owner not realizing that the financials are behind if they are, making sure they're correct so the things get coded to the right place. You're not using those very, very abused accounts that everybody tends to use and abuse incorrectly. You know what the, what the instructions are for those, you know what the IRS website says about those concise. Again, we want the financial statements to be no more than two pages long when they're expanded. If you've got more than that, what kind of date details are on that financial statement that aren't really helping the owner? What line items are on the financial statements and they're only like $100, right? You might be able to parse things down a bit by combining things, but again, you want to have involvement. It's not just you doing it because you want things to look a certain way. The owner has to be involved, and if not the owner, then whoever the owner is. Um, puts in charge of being involved in that but don't do it by yourself with no help at all you need you need input from other people ideally at least the business owner overview changes that are needed and then the confidence remember the whole idea of this class is to give you all of these skills and the confidence so that you feel like you understand the industry well enough you understand the systems and processes and terminology well enough that you can talk about these things with confidence with the business owner that's the real key. If you can have the confidence in your work to talk to the business owner and the business owner is open to telling you what's going on with the company, you guys are going to together create some really awesome financial statements.